Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOs.com. I'm the first impressions gameplay video for Soldier Front 2, a 3D MMOFPS game published by Airy Games, developed by Dragonfly. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around, checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Soldier Front 2, or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. And the first thing we're obviously going to do is equip that awesome uh, horse helmet that we just got. Oh yeah. It is now in effect for seven days. Unfortunately, it's not for it forever, but I do want to mention the weapons purchased in this game do last forever. The armor looks like it doesn't, but you can just rebuy it and it doesn't cost that much. So if you go to the shop, let's look at the weapons. There are VIP weapons in the game, but the VIP weapons just look cooler than the default weapons and they're not any more powerful. So let's say we want to buy the Galil, click on it and it lasts forever. I feel like every game should do this, but they don't. Whereas in ABA, Combat Arms, a lot of other shooting games, weapons can be rented for hours at a time, sometimes days or weeks, but rarely ever forever unless you pay real life money. Not the case here. So let's jump into an actual game now. And uh, in case you didn't realize, Soldier Front 2 is a sequel to the first Soldier Front game, which was surprisingly successful. Area also publishes that one. But it was actually much more successful in Korea than it was in America. Let's go to the newbie channel. Should make games uh, a little bit easier for me. The game is also available on Steam, and it is uh, it runs on the Unreal 3 engine, same as AVA. You get these uh, little login bonuses for just playing the game, which is always nice. And the fact that the game sells these funny looking cosmetics like the horse heads, the game doesn't take itself too seriously. Which is, which is not a problem. I don't want to play Sniper Run, we're going to play Deathmatch. Let's go play Unicorns and Rainbows, and let's click Start. Eliminate the, Eliminate the enemy, let's start. So it looks like we're playing, it looks, oh man, this, this is like a sniper looking map, I can tell. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a sniper right now, so I might be at a disadvantage. Maybe not, we'll see. I've never played this map yet. Tango Down. Whichever team gets a 5,000 points first wins. And this is like our spawn point over here, it looks like. So this weapon, uh, okay, let's see. I got it. This is a newbie channel, so I should be playing against generally Team meh coming. players. This is another map I played before, a much smaller map. Those are, those are in my opinion, almost always more fun. If you're looking for a more chaotic experience. Let's see. The smoke doesn't look that realistic, unfortunately, but it's no big deal. Enemy right, there's gonna be some people over here. Easy kill. There's a guy over there too, unfortunately. He almost got me. And by almost got me, I mean he didn't, because I'm still at E3. Right, I'm gonna camp. This seems like a good spot to camp right over here, where people keep coming from. People are blocking me. Let's kill that guy. Oh man, I'm doing all right so far. Not a bad run. I've played so many of these free-to-play shooters, and I can already tell you one of the things I really like about this game is the is the permanent weapons. It's something you don't get in a lot of shooting games. I'm gonna get grenaded on it. Yep, I knew it. There was a grenade landed next to me, but I was I was too lazy to move because I want to try getting a kill. But my first run, not bad. Three one. Contributing to my team already. You can have a, a few different loadouts in the game too, which uh, I'm sure I can play with when I'm, when I'm dead. Though I do like this weapon the most so far out of the, the stuff you start with. And the weapons, they're a little bit pricey, but it's no big deal because they last forever. You, of course, movement is WSAD and shift to run. Similar controls for AVA. I want to camp over here. Oh, no, nades! Hate nades. You know, as I hate nades, I'm going to shoot a nade. Let's get a kill with it. I'm gonna camp right here. This guy's gonna die right when he pops out. Man, that was that was a, that was sloppy. And he's in the top right. This is one of the few games that actually shows you the assist in a pretty easy to read manner. That's yeah, totally my kill too. Can I kill this guy? This jerk doesn't let me. I'm gonna try in a sec. I'm gonna try in a bit. Oh god, way too many guys over there. Shouldn't have popped out. But if you played AVA, it's actually similar. The game engine is the exact same as well. So it's not surprising the games are similar. The original Soldier Front game was surprisingly popular in Korea. It had a pretty decent esports following too. I think the most popular shooting game is actually what's it called? Well, this game is actually called Special Forces in Asia. I'm not sure why they translate this Soldier Front too. Special Forces actually sounds cooler. That guy, I hit him, but I didn't get him. He's right behind that wall. I'm not sure how that grenade got him. Like the grenade landed on this side of the wall over there, but killed the guy on the other side. Oh man, I started off pretty good, but I died. Did I really die five times? No, those are my assists. I'm like, wait a minute, did I die five times? I only died three times. I want to switch maps in a bit too, because I'm not liking this map already. Grenade. Weapons can be upgraded, as I was saying earlier. And in order to upgrade weapons, you have to use a weapon a whole bunch, and after you use it for a while, it basically lets you upgrade it. Like if you have the op, you need to get a certain amount of headshots with it before you can upgrade it, and a certain amount of kills with it. And it can take a long time to get, and the upgrades really aren't that significant. I think like the level 2 op has like 2 more magazine capacity, 
so it's almost insignificant to the actual game. Oh, grenade. Insignificant to the actual game, but it gives you like a little mini goal in the game. It gives you something to do, something to work towards. Alright, we got that, we got that. Oof, two kills. We got a double kill right there. It tells you a ranking there right there when you kill them. This is, this, oh! Okay, can I switch, yeah, let's switch weapons. Let's go ahead and try um, F2 over here. You get, you get, you can, you can have three different loadouts at once. Which gives you, lets you play around with those. And let's go out there and do a little better this time. As long as I have positive, it's, I'm helping my team, alright? This is, I believe, the starting gun. It also lasts forever. I'm gonna shoot a nade right over here. Let's get a kill with that. You pick up other people's guns too, so if you don't like your starting gun, you just feel free to experiment. That other guy did not die. That was awful. Let's go try out the shotgun real quick. I'm not sure that horse head actually helps me at all because I feel like it makes my head model like a lot bigger than it should be, which should make headshots you know, landing on me much, much easier. Enemy down. So you got 10 points for like an assist over there, I guess, which is why I saw the plus 10 on my screen. A lot of people have commented this game is not like Call of Duty 4. But I've not played any of the Call of Duty games. All right. How's even a headshot? I just kind of boom, double kill with the shotgun. Not bad. It's actually not bad enough for the shotgun because you just hide behind this wall and kill them. It is a tactical, realistic shooter of the same kind as Combat Arms and other games. Basically, a few bullets near the chest will kill you, or a single bullet in the head. But it's actually one of the most polished free-to-play shooters out there. These guys, I am not going to kill with a shotgun from this distance, so I'll shoot a nade off that wall. I want, I want, I want this guy's gun. He's a cool looking gun. I'm going to take your gun, bro. I'm pretty sure there's a friendly fire anyway. I'm not going to... I want, I want, I want to let's, eh, let's try that gun. Run behind the wall. Don't block me. Alright, we got this gun now. Unfortunately, this is like a ton of bullets, but probably not... Actually, it seems pretty accurate. Let's go reload. Reloading takes forever on this gun. Let's get out of here. Alright. Uh, there's a guy behind that wall I'm getting hit. No, I'm gonna keep spraying. Like, this is an awesome place to keep spraying. Watch. Who's gonna walk in front of me? Who's gonna do it? Okay, that's two. Let's get one more. One more. Three. Three. Oh man, nobody else walked. Right, now I have to run behind this and go reload and do that again. So it's actually a surprisingly good gun for this map. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that again. We're gonna try that again, boys. It's gonna work. I got I might get an assist over there, but come on, somebody run up here. Run up! Run up! The moment I stopped spraying, somebody just somebody just popped up. Alright. I saw I got the guy through the wall, so I'll take it. Switch back to this gun and then I'm gonna switch maps after this next round. And I said earlier, the game does not take itself too seriously because there's a snowball map too where both teams just throw snowballs at each other to get kills. And the fact that the cosmetics are pretty ridiculous too. It doesn't take itself too seriously, which is fine. Let's get a few more kills. That, so far, that, that gun I looted was awesome. I kind of want to get the gun again. Just awesome place to spray with it. Let's go shoot right over here. Unfortunately, the, the, the crappy part about this spot is if I go over there, there's like two points where somebody can kill me. Those stairs, as well as from the left. Let's go kill these guys. Alright, we got a headshot. I'm going to go switch maps for now too. And one second. Actually, you know what? There's no point. The game is already almost over, so let's not do that. Uh, my team is going to win with 50 more points, which should be probably be one more kill. Uh, no point of using my pistol because I'm not really running out of bullets. All right, I'm going to resume in a second. All right, not a bad run. I uh, get 25 kills with assault rifles, and I get 500 SP. The game is achievements as well, as you can see right there. 500 SP for getting 50 total kills. So I got 25 kills and 50 kills oh, in the same round. Well, one was with assault rifles. So I did contribute to my team because I was not negative. Go me, I'll take it. So let's go join a different game right now. Let's go back from here. The game keeps track of your stats as well, which is always nice, weapon stats. Your kills, deaths, all that good stuff. Though I don't think the game keeps track of stats on a per map basis like Wolf Team and a few other shooting games do, but that's no big deal. It has guild as well called Corpse, or Cores, I always pronounce that wrong. Let's go check out the capsules. Uh, I don't have any area points anyway. You get like random gear over here. It's not even worth doing with that with your free with, without paying for it. So let's go join another game. Let's join not today. We'll play Riverside and check that out. And let's see. All right, here we are on Riverside. Now this map is actually I probably should not have played here because this is definitely a sniper map, as you're gonna see in a second. And if you don't have a sniper, you're at a huge disadvantage because the map is just huge. You can camp like up there and just shoot you with a sniper, it sucks. But let's see. 
Sniper! This guy right there. I should also mention, there's not a lot of recoil in this game. See, I got a headshot right there. There's almost no recoil, which makes aiming from a distance with uh, assault rifles extremely easy. I've played a lot of AVA, a lot of combat arms. What other shooting games have I played a decent amount of? I've played a lot of these free-to-play shooting games, and this game seems to have a lot less recoil than most. But this is still an awful map, even with low recoil, because snipers have a huge advantage over you. Like, that guy's gonna kill me. That guy just respawns, so I can't kill him. And I gotta reload. I'm at 28 already, unfortunately. This is not a good life. If I get one person per round, I'm still doing alright. Not sure why that guy tried to run across. You're like, I'm at 9 HP now. You can always try, like, yoloing across the map. But you're rarely ever going to make it to the other side without getting killed. Well, this guy made it to our side, so JK about that. So even, even though the weapons last forever, the cosmetic stuff does not. This guy's got a sniper. I gotta wait till he dies and loot his. Let's kill this guy. Another guy up there. Alright, I got a long shot, baby. This is... I should not be using this weapon in this map. It's just a really bad idea. But then again, I'm not the only one using an assault rifle here. I think I shot that guy like so many times, but I didn't get him. This guy right there. He's gonna show up behind those plants. This a hole in front of me totally blocked me. That would have been a kill. I feel like you guys saw that. It was a complete block. There's no friendly fire. Let's go try. Let's <coughs> try. Ooh, let's get this. Already got hit once, unfortunately. This is the dragon op, not the op. The op does kill one hit, but I think uh, op requires a certain level to use. Easy revenge kill. Boom! Two kills. Oh my god. Again, I was in a really bad spot to snipe. I was like totally in the open. That is a powerful weapon. I can do so much better with the sniper. I am I am 5 and 4 doing the best of my team right now with the most points. Oddly, it's not your... In a lot of these team deathmatch games, whichever team gets the most points ends up winning. Here, mo most kills I mean. Here it's based on score. So I'm not sure how... That w Ooh, this, let's try this gun. We got the SR25. Let's reload with it. It's like... I'm not sure why it's zebra colored. I feel like... If you go... If, if you try and make the gun like blend in, let's go upstairs. I want to go and shoot it from upstairs. If you want to make it, if you want to make yourself more like stealthy, you should make the gun like camouflage, not like zebra colors. It's, it's like an awful tactical decision. All right, let's get one kill with the zebra gun. Let's make the zebra proud, boys. Whiff. We try again. Whiff number two. Right there. He's gonna come right there. Gotcha. All right. So I feel like. I'm going to buy a sniper after this round and play this again because this is a really fun map with the sniper. And it also helps me playing on the rookie channel. So the guys I'm playing against are level restricted. You can't play on the rookie channel unless you suck. Not, not really you suck, you're new to the game. That's like the only requirement I believe. I feel like I should have missed that, but I didn't. I missed that guy. What's shaking? Why is this house blowing up? Oh, we'll kill this guy. Oh, I, I do have to reload. Yeah, one more bullet left. Unfortunately, my team is not doing so hot. We are, we are now. Can I zoom like less out with this gun? Like, look how much the zoom is by default. Look at that barrel. Look at that barrel. It goes so much. I want to zoom a little bit less. Yeah, let's go check a different window. I'm not liking that one. I shot the guy like through the through the wall. But no, I'm dead right now. Unfortunately, I'm gonna respawn with my crappy assault rifle. So. It's just watching over there, so I think the game is spectating as well. Let's go. You know, we're gonna, we might try YOLO this round. Try getting across. I bet you, I'm not. And let's kill this guy. We got a headshot. Headshots, of course, kill one hit like in any other tactical shooter. I feel like, uh, yeah, if you kill. Oh, I, I was aiming like a little bit lower than I should have, expecting my recoil to lift my gun up, but this is in Counter Strike, so I probably should not have done that. Oof! I was right out to kill that guy. And again, if you're playing on this guy without a sniper, it's it's pretty suicidal. It's my dead body right there. What a handsome corpse. Sniper! sniper. Look at this horrible spray. And I didn't get him. I did shoot him once. Alright guys, who says this, this thing will blow up if I shoot it? Nope, that is an invincible beer bottle. It's a bulletproof beer bottle. You can't even go in these stalls if you want to. That's kind of lame. The game like teases you with them. I get that. Yes! No, not this gun. I thought it was the other gun as last time, but it's not. I want this guy's gun. Bro. Go out and die. Yes! He's dead. You go loot this shit. Yes! Oh yeah, I did good with this gun last time. That didn't kill him? He's up there somewhere. I'm gonna get him. 
Patience. That did he kill him again? Oh my god. Definitely should have had him. But I'm gonna call it for now. It is a uh, key highlights of this game that I like a lot. Permanent weapons, uh, l low recoil, fluid gameplay, and balance. There are no pay to win elements here. If you guys do want to play Soldier Front 2 or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MOS.com on the link below. Anyway guys, later.